It's gonna be like this all the way to five o'clock. In Asian context, when someone says eat yourself means makan sendiri or sick TK. In other words, you find your own food. My wife's not gonna prepare food because she's gonna be busy preparing for the Chinese year. So what do I do? I'm just gonna continue catching and come on, bacon, don't run away. All right, trainers, it is Marie Incense Day with only three incense costing only one pokey coin. Let's see. Wait a minute, where is it? Uh oh. Right now, the event box is on from 11 to 5 o'clock today on Sunday. Now, so practically it's free. Three incense for only one pokey coin. It's such an amazing deal. So, in today's episode, you're gonna learn a lot about electric and dragon types. Is it fair to have two hours electric, one hour dragon, and then two hours electric, and then one hour dragon again? Well, there are 40 electric types in the game and 31 dragon types. So, it's not pretty fair. So, okay. One. One hour incense. Oh boy. Now, this new event calls for a cover that just arrived in the mail. This is my new cover. Wow, Stungfisk! Now, you might be wondering why is candy so important? Well, it's to allow us to power our favorite Pokemons to the best potential that it can be, which is level 50. Now, candy is Pokemon specific. You can't just catch a million Pokemons for their Stardust and use the Stardust to power up your one favorite Pokemons all the way to level 50. It doesn't work that way. So, as in the anime series, you gotta spend time with a particular Pokemon, uh, develop it, train it, love it. But in this Pokemon Go game, it is pretty much simplified. You can catch any of the same species for its candy to use it to power up the very ones that you want to see reach level 50. Now trainers, I'm going to try to pine up everything that I can because why? The candy. The candy is what I need. Oh, six candy right there. Now, I have 22 extra large candies for Marie with three 1000 regular Marie candy. What I can do is to convert 100 candies for one extra large candy. That's right. Now, why do we need extra large candy? Well, it is to power it up all the way past level 40 up to level 50. There. 296 extra large candies are needed. That's a lot. With half a million stardust, this guy can get all the way to level 50. Now, why am I gunning for Merry Candy too? It's because I have a perfect Ampharos. Check this out guys. This guy is 100%. Now, it is 12 o'clock, so that means here comes another tip. Electric type Pokemons in the game right now, there are only 40 electric types. 40, that's right. With 23 of them being pure electric. Now, what's so good about electric type Pokemons? Well, basically, they are excellent against flying and water types. Imagine you're a fish in water and a lightning comes down and smacks into the water, you're gonna get electrocuted. Or if you're flying and the lightning hits you while you're in the air, it's not gonna be good crispy fried chicken imagine that but here is the funny thing electric types are not really effective against dragon or other electric or even grass types maybe because grass is connected to the ground growing up from the ground which also leads us to its biggest weakness electric types are really really weak against ground type that's right in our electrical system throughout the house a lot of the outlets are grounded in case there's a surge, the power trips, whatsoever. 
grounding elasticity will actually negate the effects of the elasticity so guys ground is the biggest uh, weakness to electric types but it is damn good against water types and flying types trainers this is one of my most prized possessions i hatched this one myself a couple of weeks back shiny pichu that can be evolved with a funny hat now this one is one of the rarest ones this was a special event uh, featuring a sponsored clothing brand and this pikachu happens to be shiny i am so not trading this guy that is for sure extra large candy magnemite for my magna zone yes extra large candy check out this guy my favorite mon it is lucky and it is a hundo powering up this guy is gonna cost only half the stardust but i still need 296 extra large candies to get this guy all the way to level 50 man oh man oh man i only have 12 magnemite extra large candies with only 600 regular magnemite candies converting 600 will only get me six extra large candies man i i need more magnemites now i might be giving away a prize at the rosilia community day coming up so do subscribe hit the notification button there's gonna be a prize for community day rosilia stay tuned extra last candy nice nice yes that saves a hundred regular candies And for us, Shadow with Dragon Pals. Yes, yes, yes. This guy has low attack or relatively low attack, higher defense and full HP, making it awesome. Awesome for PvP. Guys, ugh. Bagon, Bagon is here. Bagon is in town. Train us in my today's quest the whole collection challenge just missing big on and no lunch my wife just said no lunch so it's gonna be like this all the way to five o'clock in asian context when someone says eat yourself means makan sindiri or sick tk in other words you find your own food my wife's not going to prepare food because she's going to be busy preparing for the Chinese year. So what do I do? I'm just going to continue catching and come on, big and don't run away. Come on, big on. Yes, right there in the horizon. Luckily, I saw it. All right, I'm not gonna do regular pine up. I am gonna use silver. Yes, it's already in the bag. It's already in the bag, for sure. Once the thing pops up, yeah, pretty sure it's in the bag. Bacon was caught with one extra large candy. Nice. oh boy oh boy now i'm gonna trade it that's for sure whoa 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 not now not. no no where come on buddy come back come back come on dratini not now come back yes come on did I see you right? Come on, there's Snorlax there. No! 
There is a Snorlax across the street. No, don't come back. <laughs> In the game already, if you take a look at your Pokédex, go to the last column, 720 or so, only 31 of them are Dragon types. 7 of them being pure Dragon, so Dragons are rarer to come by. Now, once in a while, we get 40 kilometer trades. That is when you want to give away or trade away your Dino for Dino and also Gibbo for Gibbos. Hopefully, you get a lucky one, which will help you power it up to level 50 cheaply. Now, one thing about dragon is that it's super effective against other dragons. So, if you are not a dragon, but you have a dragon move, it's going to be super effective against a dragon type. Now, dragon moves aren't very effective against steel types, and it's not effective against fairy. That's for sure. Now, one thing about being a dragon is that you are resistant to fire, water, grass, and electric. But seriously, you are super weak to other dragons, fairy, and ice. Oh my gosh, that is my first shiny wall top. Oh, shiny Marie! Okay, this calls for this glass. Yeah, it is shiny Marib, guys. It is shiny Marib. The chances of you catching one shiny in such an event is 1 out of 450. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Please catch it, please catch it, please catch it, please catch it. Three shinies right here at home. Wow. Okay, trainers, I can't take it anymore. I'm going to try to catch this guy that's across the road. It is 4.50. And, trainers, I managed to get three shinies today right here at home. Oh, man. This is awesome. Now, will I evolve them? And chances are, no. I won't evolve them until I get a lucky trade set up with somebody. This is a Hundo. 3749. I'm going to power it up just one time. 3749 becomes... Three seven seven three. So with that trainers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Why we need candy, it's actually all part of the fun. So with that trainers, I'll see you next week. Now keep in mind, there's gonna be a competition in the next community day from this channel. And I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.